there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play with these goodies for Mudra Craft stamps. I'm using this beautiful leaves chip zip here today and covering it with a good coating of gesso for my card. I wanted it to be a really beautiful bright white, so that's why I've chosen the gesso today. So just very easy on my craft mat with a fairly thick paintbrush, just giving it a good coating all over of the gesso, making sure all the little um, veins and tiny little sections inside the leaves are covered so that when you look at it, you're not going to see any little raw pieces um, standing out. Then I put that aside to dry and I start to work on my ink blending. Now you saw I had the Strathmore Bristol watercolour card out on my desk that is what I'm using for my ink blending. I do find that it's fabulous for ink blending and you'll have no trouble at all with the Distress Oxides that's for sure. They blend so easily it's really that's why I've sped this up you don't you certainly don't need to see me doing it in real time because it's so simple. There's, um, there's no problems with um, the blends not not mixing nicely or um, any harsh lines or anything like that. I do go back from one colour to the next as I change and I alternate to get the blend to work nicely. The only thing I would have done differently is I would have wiped off my craft mat before I went to my peacock feathers. I wipe it off here but that was a little bit late. I did notice a green tinge at the bottom of my card there where it should have been more of the colour of peacock feathers so I must have been picking up some of the uh, cracked pistachio beforehand. Not to worry I did manage to cover that with bit, just a bit more intense colour of the ink that you can see me adding now and that sorts that problem out. I keep going back and forth in between the colours to get them blending really nicely. Then I want to use just one more little piece of the chip zeb and I want to colour it up instead of white like my other piece. I want to colour it the same colours as my distressed, my distress ink panel, my blended panel. So I end up swapping over to sponge daubers and this makes it so much easier. And I've got the same three colours, the peacock feathers, cracked pistachio and mustard seed. And I just use sponge daubers to apply those. I knew this one did not have mustard seed on it before. So that's why I was just sort of wiping it off. It was probably fossilised amber, which really wouldn't have been a problem in hindsight. But And here I am doing my embossing with this stencil today. So I'm getting all the layers, as you can see them there, getting them all lined up for my big shot, holding them all together. And that just gives you a lovely, soft, embossed, dry embossed detail on your cardstock. And that's a great way to get a bit more mileage out of your stencils. So I've then cut that dry embossed panel down. I cut a sort of a three centimeter section out of the um, right hand side-ish portion of it. And that just leaves me with two strips that I'll be then sticking down on the top of my gessoed piece. So just adding some liquid adhesive to the back of the gesso, the gessoed piece or the chip seb sticking that down through that sort of right hand side of my ink blended piece. I'll lay a couple of acrylic blocks on that in a minute just to hold it in place and you can see how I'm going to add the two dry embossed pieces to the sides. Now I'm adding some craft foam to my dry embossed pieces so that they'll give a nice dimension sitting up on top of the inked panel there. Again I'll use some more liquid adhesive to adhere them in position along each, each side of my card. So just adding that craft foam to the larger piece, some more liquid adhesive, adding that one to the left side. And this smaller one goes along the right side. And then it's just a matter of adding my little ink blended leafy chip zeb and my teeny weeny little sentiment from the purely sentiment labelled stamp set. 
once I've got those two details added to the lower left of my card, it is complete. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon.